I'm not sure if you've heard, but Sonia and Brashawn got into like a physical altercation last night. She's taking this oh too far. God. The biggest OMG moment had to be that our Sonia Rita, our fun little Sonia Rita, got a little physical, got a little messy, and had a little intervention. Sonia needs to kind of, like, we really need to talk to her about her drinking. I know we do. I've like, already, you know, we, we, we've tried. But yeah, but we try, no, we got no. the three of us. Me, me, you, and Ramona have to sit down with her and break through the denial. So after we get the what, let's get into the why. Apparently, Brashawn said this, and it is what set Sonia off or something. I can't even talk to her. No. I tried to ask her about her label. What did you just say? I love you. No. Did Sorry. you say drunk? So our ladies have their game plan powwow of what they will say to uh, Sonia. And uh, <laughs> the best way to get Sonia to show up at her own intervention is to steal her cocktail and bring it to set intervention at the table. Uh, we'll be right here with this coat. Uh, oh, she did. She took my drink. She took my drink. She oh, beat. there she go. That's how she's gonna bait you. Uh, Leah starts it off well. I was. I mean, I, I. I feel she was kind of in the good place to get going with Sonia. I think that it would be absolutely irresponsible and f up of us to not say we think the drinking is going to hurt you. Okay. At this point. And then they're all trying to say that they just want her to have this wake up call because Sonia immediately got on the defensive, trying to defend her actions, defend how she drinks. I never I drink think you're alone. Denial. I think you're in denial. I don't drink alone. I don't drink at home. I don't drink on dates. I don't go out and socialize like that. I just don't. Sonia only gets drunk with us. Okay, yeah, like, um, sure. Sure, I believe that one. And here's where it gets a little bit interesting. The medium, psychic, the whole shebang in this little back room. Sonia's dad comes through. And this is someone we don't really know that much about. We have not learned a lot about her father. And we found out a lot about him. He wants you to know <laughs> that he didn't know what he was doing. No, he, was he alive. didn't. He didn't know. Did he have a drink or problem or something like that? Do you know? Yes. <laughs> I had no idea about Sonia's father, and it's because Sonia never talks about her past. My father had a drinking problem, and, you know, I can relate a lot more to Sonia knowing that that could be part of the problem. It's, it's part of her, in her genes. And I don't know if this part is from her dad or the medium or um, somewhere in between, but what the medium told Sonia is that this her father is the main issue of a lot of her problems, and she needs help. But there's a feeling of of needing some therapy or counseling or something to do with I just started with a therapist, Good. but we're not really talking about my dad yet. Well, you will, mm -hmm. and that's the root cause of everything. I hope this psychologist has got a PhD, because you don't, you need somebody who's okay. got a little bit more. I mean, let's see. The mid-season trailer did look juicy, so we'll see what happens. I hope they leave Salem, because I'm a little done with Massachusetts. No shade to Massachusetts. I just want my girls to walk down Fifth Avenue. You know what I'm saying. Ah, she liked it. God damn, that's a big piece. So I saw that you and Garth were like in page six. He, he was like, not happy. Yeah.